Hey peeps, Shay with Own Health and Strength and today we're gonna do split stance toe pedals. So, we're gonna start out, um, I'm gonna turn on the side so you can see it better, but your feet are gonna be about hip width or shoulder width apart, so you don't wanna be on like a little tight rope, you wanna feel nice and grounded. Um, you're going to bend the back leg as much as you need to to get your hips directly under your rib cage. So a lot of times when we get into this position, we kind of lean forward, so really, scoop your tailbone under your ribs. Um, you might already feel a stretch here. I kind of do, so not gonna lie. Um, but you're pulling the front femur back, so you're kind of shrugging the front hip back and the back hip forward. So you're creating this push and pull. You should feel kind of engaged in your lower abs. And then try to keep a nice long spine on top of there, so just don't slouch. Um, from here, once you find your starting position, you're gonna make sure you're pushing through your big toe knuckle all the way through your pinky toe knuckle, so like that horizontal arch of your foot. Drive your heel back and down towards the ground, and then bend under, stretch through the arch of the foot, push, and kind of just like pedal it out. Split stance toe pedals. Um, so, with this, you're actually allowing your pelvis on this side, so my pedaling leg, to extend back as well, because turns out, it's supposed to be able to do that. Weird, right? So, a lot of times when we have jobs where we sit a lot or Days, we sit a lot so these muscles get really tight it makes our quads tight and sometimes can cause knee pain um, or maybe you don't have any pain at all and you just want to get better at running or something like that so it'll help with pelvic health so um, also fun side effects of when you start to like kind of really move everything around in here you have lots of lymph nodes and lots of like energetic pathways which sounds a little bit woo but it's true so anyway um, you're allowing a lot of things throughout here to drain as well and be more efficient. So this is about as wide as I stand. Um, again, pulling that front femur back, pushing that front hip forward, feeling nice and engaged here, and then just trying to drive back, bring it up, push that heel down, and bring it up. So as you're pushing that heel down, you're really making the back leg long and nice and like stretched, but not forcing into any position. So if you need to be here for a while and that's as far as you go, totally fine. Work with what you got, make it your own, and I will see you next time. So let me know if you have any questions. See you soon. Good luck.